Going undrafted, how excited were you to end up here? You know, obviously you're from here to, to end up with the Seahawks of all 32 teams. That's got to be pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's uh, you know, going undrafted. Uh, you know, obviously not. Obviously, it's not preferred, but you know, to end up here, you know, I think everything happens for a reason. And you know, this is a hometown team, the Seahawks. You know, the, I've been a fan since I was about three years old, and I actually remember coming to the training camp when I was about eight years old as well. So coming back here and playing for this team, uh, it's amazing, and I can't wait. You know, just to continue to grow with this team and learn under the players ahead of me. Bob Condota, Seattle Times. Um, yeah, kind of. So, were you, I guess, surprised not to get drafted? Was that was that kind of a hard thing to, to go through at all? Or yeah, I think uh, everyone expects uh, you know going to the draft to hear their name called. Uh, you know, I had an expectation to go around uh, five to seven, um, but at the end of the day, like I said, everything happens for a reason. And you know, I'm here. I got a chip on my shoulder, and I'm ready to compete. And it sounds like you, you do a lot of working out uh, at a place where a lot of the Seahawks do, Bobby and KJ and, and those guys as well. I, I guess, is there anybody there you've really gotten to know well that's a current Seahawk? Yes, sir. Yeah, Bobby and KJ, those are two guys that, you know, I've been training around since I was about 16 years old. I started going up to Ford Sports Performance, and they were in there, you know, before they got the big gym. Uh, you know, we, used to, we call it the small gym now. Um, but, you know, I've, I've, I was fortunate. Uh, to grow with a relationship with them uh, before I was even a Seahawk, and now you know they're they're my teammates. So it's pretty surreal. Greg, hi, Connor. Greg from the News Tribune. Can you uh, describe to us what your friends, your family are saying about it? here? You are from Sumner High School, Tacoma. You get to play for the Seahawks, have a chance of playing for the Seahawks. What, what the reaction that that is? <laughs> yeah, they're uh, they're very excited. Uh, you know, my little sisters, uh, they were so happy that I get to stay home. My mom, my dad, stepdad, stepmom, everybody um, was really excited. Uh, my brother as well, um, you know, and I'm excited. You know, this is a, you know, this is a chance for me to come out, compete, uh, earn a spot in the field and go help this team win. And it may be you're too far removed from it now for it to matter a whole lot, but how much is your experience of running back all the coming up through and then even at the first days of Stanford might help the versatility here. Oh, you know, you know, playing running back, I played running back in DB in high school um, and then transitioned to receiver in college. And at the end of the day, I love football. I just love being on the field and playing wherever I can help the team. Um, but like you said, yeah, the versatility, uh, playing multiple positions, it definitely helps. You know, I feel like I have a good football awareness uh, and it definitely helps uh, transitioning into the NFL. Thank you, sir. Brady Henderson. ESPN. Hi, Connor. Um, you, you said you you were eight years old when you came out to uh, training camp practice. Was that here? Yeah, it was uh, actually. I remember uh, being over here, like right on this hill, uh, and yeah, coming out to practice uh, and just watching the training camp. And you know what? Thirteen years later, now I'm out here. So that well, okay. I'm, I'm trying to do the math here without a Stanford education. Do you remember what year exactly that was? Um, I can't exactly remember, but I was young. I was young. Okay, and, and I understand that uh, you, you had quite a few offers, um, and even some better offers uh, than Seattle. What, what was that whole process like of uh, just talking with different teams, and then ultimately choosing Seattle? Uh, yeah, so that process um, is pretty hectic, but at the same time, it's a blessed full process because, you know, there was a good amount of teams that wanted me. Um, and you're right, there was, I did have, uh, in terms of monetary value, there was other teams that offered more uh, in terms of signing bonus and guaranteed. But at the end of the day, you know, this is, this is home, and I feel like this is a great opportunity. This is a team that I want to be a part of. Thanks. Curtis Crabtree. Hey, Connor, I'm guessing you watched Doug Baldwin quite a bit over the last few years when he was playing here and the connection with Stanford. Did did you strike a relationship up with him at all throughout the years? Um, and, and have you talked to him at all since about joining these guys or whatnot? So I have not talked to him since I've joined the Seahawks. However, I have talked to him and spoke with him. Uh, actually, when I was in high school, one of my teachers was uh, good friends with him, and he used to come down to our high school every once in a while. And I, when I was choosing Stanford, I remember I, actually, I was actually talking to him about his career at Stanford. You know, now a very similar situation, going undrafted, ending up at the Seahawks. Um, you know, it's pretty pretty crazy. Thank you, Connor. 
Thanks, everybody. Have a yes. good day. Thank you.